folks, welcome to the Aldrich Public Library's virtual story time. First, let's begin by waking up our hands and warming them up with a clip, 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 a clip, 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 a clip, clip, clip. I wake up my hands with a clip, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. I wake up my feet with a stump, stump, stump. A stump, stump, stump. A stump, stump, stump. I wake up my feet with a stump, stump, stump. And I wiggle my waggles away. I wake up my head with a nod, nod, nod. A nod, nod, nod. A nod, nod, nod. I wake up my head with a nod, nod, nod. And I wiggle my waggles away. I wake up my eyes with a blink, blink, blink. A blink, blink, blink. A blink, blink, blink. I wake up my eyes with a blink, blink, blink. And here we go, my waggles away. I wake up my shoulders with a shake, shake, shake. A shake, shake, shake. A shake, shake, shake. I wake up my shoulders with a shake, shake, shake. And I wiggle my waggles away. One more wiggle. I wake up my tummy with a poke, poke, poke. A poke, poke, poke. A poke, poke, poke. I wake up my tummy with a poke, poke, poke. And I wiggle my waggles away. One more good wiggle, you guys. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Now, who's ready for a story? Like I said, we have some wonderful stories for you today, and I have some special guests today. Very exciting. I have Ada Cardenas, who is a Spanish teacher and is going to be working with us with um, some of our Spanish books that we're reading today. And I have um, a musician. Um, she's going to play the guitar and the fiddle, and she's going to sing. Her name is Adela Polk, or Ella Polk. So uh, she's going to sing a very special song for us. Um, but I figured that since we're going to be having a Spanish story time, we could begin with a Spanish song right now. So this is one of my favorites. It's called Mi Cuerpo, and that's um, My Body. Mi Cuerpo Hace Musica. My Body Makes Music. So we're going to need to learn a couple of different parts of the body in Spanish. So, mis manos, my hands... Manos. Yep. Good job. So, mis manos. Excellent. Mis manos hace. Clap, clap, clap. Mi pies. Those are my feet. Stomp, stomp, stomp. So, mi pies are my feet. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Mi boca is my mouth. We're going to go la, la, la. Mi boca, my mouth. And then we're going to put our hands on our hips and centura hace cha cha cha. So it goes like this. Mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo hace musica. Mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo hace musica. Mis manos hace. Mi pies hace. Stop, stop, stop. Mi boca se la la la, cintura se cha cha cha. All right, do you think we can do that a little bit faster? No, so now, <laughs> so manos, remember, hands, pies, feet, stomp, 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 boca, my mouth, and cintura, my hips, cha cha cha. All right, my body makes music. Mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo, hace musica. Mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo, hace musica. Mi manos hace, mi pies hace. Mi boca hace la la la, cintura hace cha cha cha. Mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo, hace musica. Mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo, hace musica. Mis manos hace, mi pies hace. Mi boca hace la la la, cintura hace cha cha cha. One more time. Mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo hace musica. Mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo hace musica. Mis manos hace, mi pies hace. 
Mi boca hace la 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 cintura hace cha cha cha. Well done. Very good. Well, now we're going to move on to some Spanish books. Story, but it's a really fun Spanish story that I think that you'll be familiar with if you know the story of the three billy goats gruff. But this is a very special Spanish edition of the story, so I hope that you enjoy. So it's called The Three Billy Goats Buenos by Susan Middleton Elia and the illustrator Miguel Ordonez. And the reading of this book is by permission of Penguin Random House. I hope you enjoy. The Three Billy Goats Buenos. And if you do ever check this book out, you see that we have all the vocabulary words right there in the front with their phonetic pronunciation. So it's a really good one for learning how to pronounce Spanish. There once were three billy goats, a brotherly trio. They needed to crisscross a fast-moving rio. Uh, what do you suppose a rio is? A river. But under the bridge there lived a grumpy gigante with tootsies as big as small elefante. What does that sound like, elefante? Sounds like elephant to me. It sure does. So there's that troll. Trolls. Ojos. Were glowing. What do you think ojos are? Ojos. Her nose was a hook. She stopped kids from crossing with one scary look. With three heads together, a mission was planned to get past the grumpiest troll in the land. The smallest goat, uno, one, so, inteligente, clip-clopped right up to the edge of el puente. Okay, so el puente, that's probably the bridge. Oh, yeah. Hey, roared the troll, her giant head bobbing, you have some nerve, and soon you'll be sobbing. Please, said the hoof-shaking tiny. Tiny cabrito. May I go by in a short momentito? How many preachers, creatures can pass me? Ningunos. Your kids will be part of this. Mis desayunos. Way, said the little goat. I'm not. Sabroso. Try my big brother. He's so... Delicioso. In fact, my small bones will stick in your... Dientes. Wait till the bigger goat reaches your... Puente. Okay. So the goat says he's not very tasty, right? He's bony. Mm -hmm. He's headed this way to that meadow of grass. The troll licked her. Labios. Fine, you may pass. What do you suppose labios are? Take a look, what is she licking? Her lips. The three, the little goat crossed to the bank's other. Lado. Then followed his nose to the lush, lovely. Parado. Parado. There we go. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that look nice? Nice green meadow. Along came the second goat. Numero dos. Out! yelled the troll in her scritch scratchy. Boss. My meal is before me, here for the taking. See these big choppers? Why aren't you shaking? <laughs> Troll does look pretty scary. Wait, said the middle goat. 
I'm not. Sabroso. Try my big brother. He's so delicioso. <laughs> the troll rubbed her chin, both whiskered and warty. I heard a rumor that you taste good, shorty. So now you have some really good words for tasty, right? The goat shook his spotted cabeza. Not me. These spots will taste bitter. I'm the worst of the three. The troll licked her. Labios. Fine, you may pass. The goat hurried off to the clover, clover and grass. Okay, we're on to the third goat now. He joined his hermano. The two budded heads. They frolicked and romped like two quadrupeds. <laughs> <laughs> and hermano is brother, right? Then next came the biggest goat. Numero tres. If the troll lets me by, what will she eat? Después. Uh-oh. Number three goat is looking pretty worried. And why is she so grumpy? Tres. Wanted to know. His gentle eyes noticed the gal's swollen toe. Can you see that swollen toe? Look, there's something in her toe. Stuck to her foot was a long, sharp Espina. Ay! That must hurt you a lot. Mi vecina. Doesn't that look like it hurts? Looks like a little spine, a little thorn. A big salty lagrima fell from her eye. No one has noticed. You're the first guy. The goat called his brothers. This troll needs a remedy. Please gather hierbas to soothe her extremity. So I'm wondering what that is. Let's see. What does it sound like? Sounds like herbs. Goat trays pulled the thorn. He used his big dientes. That gal was the happiest troll of all. Puentes. The others found herbs, mashed them up with their teeth, returned to her foot. Put the paste underneath. So there they are. Putting that herbal paste on the to troll's toe. Take away some of that pain. Next they picked frutas in an orchard nearby. A gift of manzanas. He said, she said, I might cry. The troll scary cara stopped looking so mean. And she'd wave to the three as they crossed the green. And what do you suppose manzanas are? Well, we have a book right there. Right there. Apples. Mm-hmm. Pass, young. Cabritos. And don't pay a toll. We're all... Amigos! Said their new friend. The troll. Wasn't that a fantastic story, you guys? So uh, hopefully you learned a couple of um, Spanish words out of that. And uh, hopefully you feel a little bit more comfortable um, with some of these pronunciations. So this is a really wonderful book. And she has um, a couple of... Uh, Susan Middleton Elia has a couple of other wonderful books um, here in the children's room. So I hope you'll check them out and uh, learn a little bit of Spanish. And a big thank you once again to You're Ada welcome. Cardenas for doing our Spanish for us and uh, being our translator. Um, thank you so much. You're welcome. My pleasure. Adios. Adios. And now, folks, Ella Polk is going to share a traditional Spanish song with you. La Llorona.
Thank you.